good. How's everyone doing? Great. Uh, I'm happy to hear everyone's excited for today's episode. Because <laughs> I'm excited too. As you can probably tell by the title, tomorrow we're leaving for the Grand Canyon. So welcome to part one of the Grand Canyon vlog. I already got my coffee. Couldn't wait. Here it is. Today I got the iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. I've heard a lot of good things about this drink, so I kind of have high expectations here. I'll give it an extra shake. Oh. Close up. Can't really see it. Someone just walked by and watched me do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Round two. Close up. Hold on, I have to fix the lighting. Come on, find me. <laughs> okay. Iced brown sugar, oat milk, shaken espresso. Let's see if you're any good. It's good. It's like a creamy, not super sweet fall drink. So I think it's pretty good. Is there cinnamon in there? It looks like there's flecks of cinnamon in there. I don't know what that is. I like it. Creamy though. Change of scenery. Um, <laughs> there was like a baseball game going on or something. Not trying to get stared at the entire time. Now, the Grand Canyon trip. I've never been to the Grand Canyon. I have been to Arizona though a bunch of times. For work, I went to Phoenix a few times and then I was out there recently for a bachelorette party. So pretty excited to get up there and finally see it because I've been pretty close a bunch of times. Plan is, uh, I know you're all wondering what the itinerary is. We're starting in the South Rim, then driving up to Lake Powell, and then driving to the North Rim, and then ending the trip in Vegas. I know, <laughs> this is a big one. <laughs> We're throwing Vegas in there too. I'm scared. A lot going on in this trip already. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if we're ready for this, but we're going. <laughs> it's booked. I'll let you all know how it goes. And what music will I be listening to? I know you're all probably wondering that too. And for this trip, I'll be listening to Kim Petras because it's almost October. And for me, October is Turn Off the Light month. So that means it's Kim Petras month. If you haven't heard her Turn Off the Light album, in summary, it's a spooky work of art. That's how I would describe it. I really don't think anyone has made an electro pop Halloween album as good as that. I've never heard one. Like she just woke up one day and was like, I'm gonna make an album with Halloween vibes with pop and electronic mixed in and it's gonna slap. And it does. That album is a must listen any and all times of the year, but especially in October. Kim Petra said, we needed a spooky pop album, and we did. She was right. Thank you, Kim, and every song on that album is a bop, no skips at all. Favorite songs from that album have to be Transylvania and Tell Me It's a Nightmare, if I had to choose. The entire album is pop perfection, but those two in particular for me are pop perfection. Everything I'm looking for in a pop song, that's it. <laughs> Electronic, spooky, pop, it's all there coffee break. I've said like five sentences. Five sentences in and I'm overheating. I already need to open the window. Better. I just need to say I am so excited that I'm talking about Kim Petras today. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited for the future of pop. She's already made so much amazing music in her career and I really cannot wait to see what else she releases this year. I have a feeling there's a lot more coming. I've wanted to talk about her music for so long on my channel, and today's finally the day. It's here. I can't believe I have this opportunity and this honor, this high distinct honor to discuss her music, and I had to start with the Turn Off the Light album. It just felt right. And that's just one of her albums. Right there with that one album, we're talking she has at least 20 perfect pop songs. Right there. On top of those 20, she has so many other amazing songs like Malibu, do Me, Heart to Break, Heart to Break Remixes, and a ton of others, but those ones just in particular hit for me. Please do me a favor and put on Malibu, just hit play. Malibu, Kim Petras, play. She snapped with Malibu. If that's not the definition of a pop smash hit, then I don't know what is. I don't know what would be. 
Other huge news is she just dropped a new single and it's called Future Starts Now. It's unbelievable. If you saw me blasting that, no you didn't. <laughs> I think it's physically impossible to not want to get up and dance to that song. It just happens and there's nothing you can do about it. At least there's nothing I can do about it. The production, the lyrics, the woo ahs that are perfectly placed. What's beautiful in French because whatever that word is, that's how I would describe that song. I'm gonna ask Siri because I need to know. Hey Siri, what's beautiful in French? In French, beautiful is boo bill. Boo bill. <laughs> boo bill. Did I get that right? <laughs> boo bill. Kim Petras, boo bill. Okay, I took Spanish, you guys. All right. <laughs> and then when I thought the song was winding down, there's this flip with a woo ah at the end. I was like, I didn't think this song could get any better, but it just did. <sighs> that was my brief overview of Kim Petras. There are so many other amazing pop artists that I want to talk about on this channel, but I had to talk about her today. I couldn't wait another minute. Needed to be said. Now, completely unrelated and off topic, but I need to talk about TikTok today for a second. We need to go there. TikTok is so funny. That app, people are hilarious. I just made all of my liked videos on my profile public because I feel like everybody, the entire world needs to see those videos. I must be on funny talk or something because my for you page is just a constant stream of funny videos and videos of people singing, unsurprisingly. If you're having a bad day, you need to check out my liked videos. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I think it might make you smile because I laugh out loud at those videos on a regular basis, especially that Harry Potter one. If you're on TikTok, you probably know what I'm talking about. When she says there must be another way, I just, I'm gone. <laughs> and then the facial expressions, she nails that. Spot on. The Ron no, I, I could watch that over and over again. People are just so funny and creative on that app. And the comment section, the comment section is better than the video. I always check the comment section because that's just where it's at. And I'll put the link to my profile in the description below. If you want to laugh, check out my liked videos. Highly recommend. That's it for today. That's the plan for the trip. That's the music I'll be listening to. And I'll see you in the Grand Canyon. Wish me luck because I'm going to need it. Bye. Here we are. And this is the deluxe king room. And here it is. Gotta have the Grand Canyon pictures, of course. Now let's check out the view. Wow, that's the Grand Canyon right there. <laughs> so the view from our window is from the back of the hotel. And the entire back of the hotel is just like on the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's there, that's it. And let's look at the bathroom. Nice. Got the El Tovar shampoos. Looks good. Giant full length mirror, essential. And then this was that seating area with the TV. Really nice.